All right, all right, all right. The following podcast may contain adult language and a bunch of salt. So get ready for some bad impressions and terrible CGI because we're talking dragon movies. Oh my God. <laughs> Dragons, we get older, they stay the same. Dragons, you know what I mean? Like they, they get older, we stay the same. What is the what is the other line? Oh, it's, it's the opposite. I'm sorry, I'm drinking heavily. Hello, everybody. Mm-hmm. Welcome to another episode of the Salty Nerd Podcast. Today, we're talking about dragons movies. Dragon movies. And this is not, a, not just dragon movies. It's, it's a patron show. This is a special episode because you guys, we gave you a lot of power, and I felt like you abused it. Well, this is I learned I learned something very special about our patrons and about our club members that, that they, they hate like, us. They, they like hate to, us. They like to torture us. <laughs> they like to torture yes. us. <laughs> so what we did for this episode, for those of you who are not me- members of the club, uh, we contacted our club members and said, "Hey guys, here's the genre. We want to do dragon movies," and we gave them the rights to pick whatever movie they wanted. They discussed amongst that themselves. That was mistake number one. They discussed amongst <laughs> themselves uh, in the in the Discord chat uh, which movies they wanted to ha- have us talk about. And uh, the three movies that they came up with are D-War. Oh boy, d douche war What? <laughs> the War of Dicks. Subtitle, Dragon Wars. Uh, they had Braveheart, Dennis Quaid, Sean Connery. No, no, and Dragonheart. Dragon Braveheart's Heart? a good movie. Oh, Braveheart. Yeah, Braveheart. No, I'm sorry. Don't, don't get different. those mixed up. Drag- I'm, I'm heavily drinking. Dude, dude uh, yeah, I need to chug. Yeah, actually, no, we came I'm... up with a new drink today, which is going to be available on our Discord app. We'll tell you what the recipe is. It's called Dragon's Blood. It's amazing. Um, and then last is uh, Reign of Fire with Matthew McConaughey and uh, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. So these are the movies that our club members have picked. If you want to become a club member so you can torture us with your movie picks, go to saltynerdclub.com, jump in into the membership. It's a fantastic community. You guys get a huge value uh, with it. You get four exclusive uh, podcasts every single month, along with uh, behind the scenes photos and contact with us and a backlog of like two years of content. Plus, uh, what else do we get? We get blooper reels uh, for the higher tiers. Mm-hmm. Q&A sessions. Q&A sessions, live stream. I usually hop in Discord for our members only, and I do video game streaming because I, yep. I, I don't do it on YouTube because I don't like doing it on YouTube. I do it just for our club members. You also do watch parties on there. Yeah, with, uh, Discord's I, being sketchy about yeah, that Yeah, I tried to do a watch party with some Rick and Morty last week, and all I got was a blank black screen. Yeah, Discord, I think, changed. It's Because they've, yeah, they've now I got it. I was kind of pissed off about it. I was a little pissed, too, because we used to do watch parties. Now I we know. don't. We're going to find a way around it, guys. Yeah, we'll figure Don't worry it out. about it. All right. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know. I'm completely lost on our intro, but this is <laughs> S&P okay. 98. This is what we do, bro. This, this is, is what we do. Yeah, this, this, is, is, the, this is the patrons pick the movies. Yep. Yeah. Patrons pick the movies. They pick some winners this, we, we, this time. Ooh, baby. We, we don't have to be as structured as our No, we normally, no, you're absolutely as our, right. As our show breakdowns. Fuck the rules. Because, you know, <laughs> There's this your is, swear word for the first 10 minutes. <laughs> no, did we get past 60 seconds? I don't know. Because Matt said, can't, can't swear in the first 60 seconds because YouTube doesn't like that. Yeah. I think we're good. Are we good? Matt oh, Bader is here, guys. Hey, what's up? It's like, Look machine. at that shirt. He wants me to make him a shirt. That's I, I want a I want a salty nerd version of this shirt because mm. this is not one of our shirts, but it's really cool. It is really cool. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. You ready to talk about these I'm, movies? I got some some uh, dragon's salty blood. nerd dragon's blood going on. Yep. Um, what is that shit? What? Uh, it's cranberry d Betty. Cranberry d Betty. And, and wait, wait, wait! Rip. I thought we were gonna put the recipe. Wait, in right, I'm telling them what it is, right? No, let's leave it in the Discord. Oh, so you got to come to the Discord. Go to, to saltynerddiscord.com. We have a whole freaking, we got a stack of. Listen to uh, us. We're I'm like, really good at making drinks. We sound like a fucking Bunch. infomercial sometimes. It's, come to our Discord, guys. Come to our Patreon, guys. Yeah, if there are any alcohol distilleries out there watching, <laughs> uh, feel free to sponsor us. Mm-hmm. I'm not even joking. Yeah, we like I'm going to go around the breweries we'll in Las Vegas. We'll drink all your shit. Yes. <laughs> I didn't drink as much earlier, so I would be I was more coherent today. Wait, wait, there's a there's a method to our madness. <laughs> All right, Jude is also here. Welcome, Jude. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How you ready you to doing? talk about these shitty ass movies? Heck yeah, man. <laughs> this week was rough. This. I had a bad week. Really? I had a good week. I kind of had fun. I had fun. These movies were not good. No. And you guys made me watch all that foundation, and I hate Jude, it. <laughs> you were the last person to tell anybody. <laughs> about watching <laughs> terrible shitty movies. Shots fired. That is, that is your entire Look genre. at the two posters behind her and tell me you like shitty movies. Uh, <laughs> barf. <laughs> yeah. Also joining us, the frustrated producer of the podcast, Matthew Kadish. Welcome. Oh, these movies were rough. Uh, there, are t- the, there are two movies that we watched this week that I absolutely despised. <laughs> and the other one I was just okay with. So <laughs> I'm going to be... 
Am I going to be shocked at which one you were okay with? No, I don't think you will. Okay, anyway. All right, guys, we're talking Dragon Movies this week. Stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break, listen to some sponsors. We'll be right back and get started. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. All right, the first movie on our list today, D Wars, <laughs> subtitled Dragon Wars. And uh, this has a surprisingly robust cast for a awful movie. And uh, Jude, take it away. What is this movie all about? All right. 2007, D Wars. <laughs> also Dragon Wars. <laughs> Rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour, 47 minutes. This had a budget of $32 million. What do you think this brought into the box office? Uh, 10 million bucks. Five million dollars. I think two million dollars. Did it lose that? I, I want to say it probably lost money. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> You're gonna be very upset at the people in the world. 147 million dollars. Well, I don't know what. 75 million dollars. So this thing actually made money? <laughs> this actually doubled its budget. In wow. Korea, right? I, it's worldwide. Okay. I don't yeah, know. It's I didn't, definitely I didn't Korea. Dive any deeper 100%. Asian cinema. Yes. Movie, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Nobody yep. watched that pile of shit. In, in the <laughs> I've never States. even heard of this freaking <laughs> yeah. movie. You want to know what it's about? Uh, kind of. All right. <laughs> Maybe you can explain it to us. <laughs> I'm going to try. With the, with the moogies and shit. And moogie boogies. And, yeah. <laughs> 500 years ago in Korea, a boy and girl fell in love. Oh, boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, she was meant to be sacrificed to the emugi. <laughs> A good serpent. Every 500 years, a giant snake devours the soul of a chosen girl to become an awesome dragon. And you can tell she's chosen because she's born with a sweet dragon tattoo. The serpents come to the village to battle for the soul of the chosen one. And instead of accepting her destiny, she jumps off a cliff. Now, in present day, she's been reincarnated in the body of the girl with the dragon tattoo, Sarah. Unfortunately, Ethan, a reporter, is the reincarnation of her lover from Korea. And wouldn't you know it, he doesn't want her to be sacrificed to the dragon. But when the evil Bukaki serpent <laughs> finds her, she knows she must do what her destiny foretold and give herself to the Amugi <laughs> to keep Bukaki from getting her soul. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> What the fuck is this movie? I, was that Richard Mull from the Night Court? <laughs> I don't know. But the dude from Alligators in this movie. Uh-huh. His hair looks good. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> the emoji and oh, the Bukakis. And the, this, the okay, so. Matt was calling them uh, emoji dragons the whole week. <laughs> emoji dragons? And there was dinosaurs with missile Dude, monsters. okay, look. I'm not going to lie. This movie was ridiculous. <laughs> there was a section of this movie that I was in. I, it was the flashback I when really, they went to like the Ming Dynasty or whatever. Okay. And there was like like classic kung fu Asian cinema, and they mm -hmm. were like jumping off of water yeah. and like doing cool kung fu shit. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then they put freaking dragons with missile launchers on the back of them, and like dudes in armor coming in. I'm like, this is freaking. I go, this is some wild shit. This right is here. some wild shit. <laughs> and then they go back to modern times, and it's just like, uh, I don't want to. You be. know what it was? It was like going from like this really cool kind of like, I don't know, like video game movie to a uh, Power Rangers episode. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. 100%. Because the main bad dude with the armor and... Power Rangers villain. He was a Power Rangers villain. But they also have like some it's really... Like, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to like grow like 30 stories tall. <laughs> and fight and, and another fight giant robot. And giant robot. Yeah. yeah. It was I got totally, you. Totally would have been cool. This... Yeah. um, There was like 10 minutes of this movie I was in. And then yeah. they went back to modern times and it was horrible. But they also well, had like they, this they, really weird cast of like really good comedic actors show up. Like there's people from The Office. There's people from Parks and Rec. Donna from Parks and Rec shows up as a nurse for like three minutes out of nowhere. I was like, what is Donna doing in this episode? What is going on? I was so confused. And there was moments of it where it was like straight like Pineapple Express comedy. Especially when when the freaking big bad guy in the dumb armor with his like lightsaber wannabe sword, he gets hit by a car and it's like super comedic mm -hmm. or un unintentionally comedic. Yeah. And then he gets up and he starts fighting him. And then the uh, the actor from uh, the office grabs the sword and he's like, "Oh yeah, what you got, bitch? What you got?" <laughs> it's oh, yeah. So goofy. Craig Robinson was the best part of this. Yeah. Oh yeah, Craig Robinson in a completely straight role. Yeah. Uh -huh. He did, he wasn't funny in the whole thing. <laughs> he was a straight man. I. I got. I started watching this movie. 
and I got through the first 20 minutes. I pushed pause and I went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I got up and I went and I got a beer out of my fridge and I came back really annoyed and sat down in my chair and made myself watch the rest of this, cursing my <laughs> patrons. It's like, these <laughs> sons of bitches got me. It's like, I'm so angry right now. And it's like, it's like, I'm never going to get away from these shitty movies. <laughs> no. I'm never going to get away. It's like, I think at least Jude makes us watch intentionally shitty movies. This oh, movie, they played us. It's like, man. They got I, together I and they're like, what? They thought it was good. They watched the go, shitiest they, movie they could They got make. freaking blurgs firing <laughs> missile launchers off their backs and like cool dragons that aren't, shouldn't even be in this movie. Mm -hmm. And then they got the stupid Asian snake dragons that are flipping around, flying through the air and they're moving way too fast. And I'm just, uh, there's a moment in like this, pick, pick a genre. There's okay? a moment in this movie that really got me like, Oh God, what have we done? I know Where the, the older reincarnation of the younger savior guy was like it's awful was he was inner inner monologuing. And he said, <laughs> and he said, yeah, I think the story's about me. Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> So freaking dumb. I want to know which one of our patrons picked this thing. Well, they all did. Well, somebody had Whose to bring it up first. idea was it? Because I'm kicking them out. <laughs> I'm kicking them out. We haven't heard Kadish dump some salt so, on this. What are your thoughts on Dragon Wars? <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to tell yep. you everything you need to know about this movie. <laughs> so in the opening scrawl, they have a two minute basically rundown of the legend of the Yamuji and they explain all about like the girl with the dragon tattoo. Okay, stop. Yeah, with the dragon tattoo. Emugi. Mm -hmm. Emoji? Emoji. 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 <laughs> Killer Emoji. Slayer of words. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so so they they go through two minute explanation of all the mythology of this movie. Then the movie starts. Mm -hmm. And the the main character basically has a flashback to when he was a child and he gets exposed to a dragon scale. And Robert Forrester, who's the reincarnated version of his former master from 500 years earlier, uh, sits down with him and he starts telling him the exact same story that we just spent two minutes watching. <laughs> and as he's and as he's doing this, uh, we have a flashback within the flashback <laughs> to go back to the exact story that Robert Forrester is telling and that we just saw at the very beginning of the movie where we see the events play out um, and those events are explained to us just as Robert Forrester explained those events to us just as the opening scrawl of the movie explained to us. So we're, we're at inception levels of storytelling here um, telling us the exact Brilliant. same story three times it's in a row so there's a fucking moment where the little kid who's listening to the story goes Says, why are you telling me <laughs> when you heard this he's, story. Like, he's like three times what are you talking about i'm like i know yeah, and robert forrester was like pay attention <laughs> it was such a self-aware moment where the kid was like the fuck are you talking about dude and what's even funnier is like i think at some point robert forrester either you know he had shot you know uh what his paycheck required him to shoot or he passed away. I, I'm not sure which one it was, but um, at a certain point, uh, they just kind of like CGI him into like different scenes, but he doesn't have, like there are scenes where he should be talking and interacting with people, but they just kind of like, you know, have other actors and they morph him into Robert Forrester. <laughs> and it's just so random. Is that why he kept morphing into yes. different characters? Yeah. Cause he wasn't there. Yeah. Okay. Awful. Yeah, Awful. like they shot all of his scenes in two days. He collected his paycheck and left. I don't know when he passed away, but he might have passed away. What year did this come out? Mid production. Two thousand seven. He passed yeah. away much after that because okay. he was in. He was in the, um, the Tim Allen show. Played his dad. No, oh, no, no, no. He was in Breaking Bad. Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah. That, that, okay, like, so so he whatever. was still alive. So basically, he showed up for like a day, shot all of his scenes, and then they were like, "Oh well, we need Robert Forrester for these things, but we can just CGI him." <laughs> What's in there. weird is like they treat him like. Is Bruce Willis or something? Yeah, I mean, it's like I don't know. This movie is freaking whack. Well, well the, really the CGI whack. vomit fests in this movie. There are three big ones. The first was the one that you liked at the beginning. Oh, well, we're liked like, is strong words. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we but we see like a CGI battle, um, and all the bad guys are armored in like um, 
old Battlestar Galactica Cylon outfit mm-hmm. that they repurposed for samurai armor mm-hmm. or something like that. Looks really stupid. <laughs> and then in the middle of the movie, there's this big battle in the middle of the city, which is the Dragon War, I guess you could say, where the army is basically taken on uh, all the mythological creatures. And, and Jude was like, where did all these guys come from? Like the army gets on board real quick. They're like, there's monsters. We got to deal with this shit. <laughs> they just kind of appear out of the, yeah. the well, nether. Well, no. So like there's a scene where the bad general has all these scrolls and he's un- unfurling these scrolls. And dust comes out of the scrolls and turns into mm-hmm. like the dinosaurs and the soldiers and stuff like that. So they, they were all stored for like 500 years, basically. Yeah. Um, can we talk about the actual monsters? Oh, the snake well, dragon? Oh, yeah, They're will. snakes. It's a snake. And then, well, like, spoiler, I don't want to ruin it for you, but at the <laughs> end of the movie, one of them turns into a dragon, and they just give them antenna and feet. Well, they're, they're, they're Chinese dragons at that point. Yeah, but Chinese it's dragons a, are very You had like, to eat the soul of a woman? I don't know, and man. And wait 500 years just for feet? I'm not, I'm not yes. familiar with the legends of the great Imugi, so I, I don't know what, <laughs> what Well, they explained to it to you three times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But I mean, I, I know they they based there's like there's like a representation of like every dragon in in history in this movie. In this movie, they, there is there's there's no there's, sir. There's, there is no there is, there is no there's, ancient English dragon in this. Sure, movie. there are They're the ones flying around shooting fireballs out of their oh, mouth. Oh yeah, those are there. Those, that's the air support. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and and then you got the Chinese dragons, which were the main characters yeah. of the I show. I was like, those are dragons. Yeah, there's all kinds of dragons in this movie. I mean, even. The, even the the blurgs with the missile launchers yeah, the are, are are dragons from Star Wars. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Well, is that what they're called? Blurgs, Bergs, the, something you know, like that. You know, the I have spoken guy. Yeah, you know, yeah they yeah. ride around on top yep, of them. Yep, yep. You know, those are just blurgs. It's from Tatooine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got and, you. And um, you know, except they've got four legs. I don't know, whatever. Also, the Adventures but, of the Ewoks. Yeah, I love those movies. You know, can we review those? Anything movies? with anything that's got the scales and well, can can be called it, a dragon. So, so the cr- the craziest so, thing is that. During the entire movie, uh, the Bukaki dragon is trying to track down the girl, the and cobra. and um, uh, she he keeps getting opportunities to eat her, yeah, and he just doesn't take them. And then they get to the final act of this movie where the characters get knocked out and they wake up in like this weird nether world. Yeah, of, where like, did dragon. this world come from? Well, you see, Shang Tsung has to come pick you up in his boat. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then they he takes you to Outworld, and they have a fight. Yeah. Okay, it's called Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but the, the entire third act of this movie but, takes place in this like fantasy realm, and I'm just like, where did this come from? And how nowhere. did they get there? Yeah, exactly. And then at the end, like they just leave like our main character there, and I'm just like, how did, how did you get home? Pans back, but they're still just kind of standing like, there. Like, like, like he's, so at this, he's at this, he's at this temple in yeah. the middle of like this wasteland, and I'm just like, can he Uber it home looks from there? Like a different planet. It is. It is. It is another it's ridiculous. Planet. It's like they changed, like went into like some kind of weird, like <sighs> other like, realm. We got these actors. We filmed half of a sci-fi movie and <laughs> half of a monster movie. Can we just make this one movie? Yeah, it's like <sighs> there's six different movies in. You know what? A, if this movie, you know what it needs? What's up? It needs Bruce Campbell. It would have been much better with Bruce Campbell in it, <gasps> right? Right. I needed Jean Claude Van Damme. It Jean Claude Van Damme. Or Bruce Any Campbell. movie. Bruce Campbell, yeah. I think, and would fit better. And every movie needs Jean Claude Van Damme. Every movie you know, needs the, the Bruce thing, Campbell. The thing that I kept thinking when I was watching this thing, as you had the the giant bad Bukaki dragon, <laughs> you know, running all over Los Angeles, destroying neighborhoods along the way, and they don't even like call out one National Guard person until he gets downtown, dude. The freaking scene where it was at the zoo eating oh, elephants, it's like, and oh, that, look, there's that, just a dragon. That Same comedy, thing. he's a comedic actor. I've seen yeah. him in like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, he was in Mike and Molly, right? Yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's a big time, like, yeah. comedic actor type guy. I reckon, I'm like, what the fuck's he what, doing in this movie? funny at all. No, I think he was, though, but he was just in the wrong movie. Like, he's like, look, man, I saw that. He's tied up in a freaking straight jacket. Look, I saw that snake and it ate a freaking yeah. elephant. <laughs> and the scene where they show it, it's like a giant rubber like, elephant and they drop it yeah. and it like bounces. And he's like, oh my dude, God. Dude, the funniest part is when the dragon ate the roommate. <laughs> just <laughs> picked her up by the, by the, oh, that was the, great. the side and yeah. spit her into the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Matt like, was like, or Kadish was like, I think she's all right. <laughs> why, 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 why didn't she just like swallow her like T Rex style? Oh, like, that was that definitely was actually, yeah. That, that was looked, pretty cool. He was, was like, I only eat chosen ones. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty not wild. the girl with the dragon tattoo. It's like I, I, I mean, uh, this movie is all over the place. That, that, that was also the babysitter from Dexter. That girl who got eaten. Really? Yeah. Oh, I did not know it's that. Like, oh, that's 
okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I also thought the main character had a wig on the entire time. I, I girl? I, oh, no, my God. No, the guy. Oh, the oh. guy. You did he, keep okay. saying that. He just has really good hair. No, he looked like he was coming out of a 1970s movie. He like did he, look, look very mod squad. He had like the freaking big popped collar with the feathery, you know, hair. I'm like, is, is he? Everybody in this movie is in a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, the, you know what? I, I remember. I remember there being an actual marketing campaign. For this? For this movie. I, I remember really? seeing commercials for this movie, like on primetime television. It's, it's, and it's such a pile of shit. It, it is unbelievable to me that this movie even got sh shown on legitimate movie screens mm -hmm. because this thing is like a straight up trash it, fire. It's, it's, it's sci-fi Sharknado bat. It, it really is. To it me. did it's, feel like a sci-fi original. It movie. did. It, it's not good. And uh, I, I just, I final thoughts. I'm, I'm, I'm angry. You have a favorite moment or least favorite uh, moment. Um, what broke you? Just, I don't know what broke me. I was, <laughs> it was, I, I, I kind of like the stupid battle scene when they were blowing up every, I don't know how anybody lived through that. Get, get, oh, with, with the missiles? With, with the rocket launchers yeah. and the giant nuclear explosions. Yeah. Going off. It's like, man, those villagers are really having a hard time. They're fucked. But then they, they'd show the entire village getting blown up and then they'd show them all running through the building, you know, trying to get to where their cave or whatever. To, it was just crazy. Um, I don't, I don't have a favorite scene. I don't have a, least favorite scene because like i it's just it was just dumb i i i just i'm mad at my patrons right now for for making me watch this one thing. star crap fest oh 100 100 percent one star crap fest um but i love you guys and you know <laughs> i get you them wanting to torture us because we, 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 we torture them i do I no, get you it. know what i think it, it is but it's fun it's just it's i wasn't it's just a bad movie it, it and I don't, I, but most bad movies that we watch on this show that Jude makes us watch, they know they're bad. Yeah. They're in on the joke. I don't feel like this movie was in on its own joke. I don't think any of these movies you, you, you knew that they I mean? were bad movies. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just, a, it's just a bad movie. It's a one star crap fest, 100%. And um, yeah. what what do you think, Jude? What? You know, I just want to say to the patrons, um, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> and and oh I just God. don't. I don't think you're very, you were very responsible with your power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was boring as well as bad. So not, not a whole lot for me there. Um, I, I thought uh, my favorite part is that Robert Forster kept morphing into different people for no reason. Yeah. And uh, I guess, God, what do I rate this? Dragon movies. Ugh. It didn't make me mad. So I'm going to give didn't? It, it, no, I just was like, Neh, the whole time I was watching it. So, uh, it's a, uh, it's a two star crap fest for me. So I'll give it two, uh, out of five bukkakis. Wow. Two, two from the, yeah. from the, from the crap queen herself, the, the terrible movie queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> crap queen. I didn't, we yeah, have scream queens and now we have crap queens. <laughs> That didn't sound That's right. fair. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Matthew Kadish, give this a rating. I'm tempted to give it like zero, but um, mm, that would be fair. I'm going to bump it up to half a crap fest <laughs> because oh, I hated this movie so much. Like flames on the side of my head. <laughs> burning. Burning. <laughs> um, it's it, from it, Clue. It's a Clue reference. Yes. For, the, for those of you who don't get it. Um, th this movie, it, it was like baby's first CGI budget. It was just a CGI vomit fest throughout the entire movie. Bad acting, bad scripting. It was a South Korean production. And so like, there was definitely something lost in the translation here um, for an American audience. And uh, the names were weird. The emoji dragons, the bukkake dragons, <laughs> uh, the main characters I didn't care about, the comedic actors they cast in the movie weren't funny. Everything about this movie was just wrong. And I dreaded every single moment. I was forced to direct my eyeballs toward it. So, yeah, I hated this movie. Even the, like, the logic of this movie. Like, uh, Ethan, our main character. Oh, he had a name? Day, yeah. Uh, I had to look it up. Uh, but he's, he's a reporter, and he's like, 
I got to find a girl named Sarah. And uh, Craig Robinson is like, on it. <laughs> uh, and he's like, bro, there's 47,000 people yeah. named Sarah in and LA. some guy just walks out of another room and goes, I was just talking to this girl named Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, could that be? Did that scene? Oh, did she have a tattoo? <laughs> Whoa, that cool. scene where, what's the old actor's name? Uh, Robert Forrester. Robert Forrester walks in and beats the shit out of those three guys and then just literally walks off the he, frame. He miyagi them. Never says a word, just kicks the shit out of them and then walks away and the girl's just left sitting there going. That that was a CGI Forrester. That, was, that was after he left the production. <laughs> <laughs> that That's why it went so fast. It was yeah. just like, oh, we can't really make this look good or afford the actual actor to do it. So we're just going to have him hop in there and I mean it looked like something that someone you know CGI'd <laughs> CGI'd and they're on their phone app you know it was that bad <sighs> that's tough uh, for me this is a I'm gonna give it a half a star <laughs> above a one star crap fest so one star crap fest plus a half so one and a half well, stars on a one star crap fest no, it still is. No, it's not. I'm giving it, a, you give it a star practice. and a half. I'm giving it a half a star because it has raptors with missile launchers on their backs. That is pretty freaking dope. Okay, I'll accept that. And the kung fu scenes that are in there at the early stages of the movie where they were like still being filmed in Korea. Yeah. yeah. Pretty freaking cool. Wouldn't it have been cool if they had just kept that whole yes. style yes. through the whole thing? Yes. Then I, I would have been I, I liked it. how the old master sits down with the dad and he's like, yeah, we're going to have to sacrifice your daughter to the good dragon. And he's, <laughs> he's like, sacrifice my daughter? No. And he's like, but it's to the good dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're still sacrificing no, 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 no. my daughter. No, it's to the good dragon. <laughs> it's not to the Bukaki <laughs> so okay. dragon. Yeah. We're not going to sacrifice her to the Bukaki. Yeah, we're not going to Bukaki your daughter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gross. Okay. All right, that's it. That's for dragon. That's all. I'm, that's all the time I'm giving this well, movie. That's, a, that's about right. What is that, 25, 30 minutes? Hot garbage. Hot garbage. That's a good one. The I next like one's that. really good, though, you guys. What are we talking about now? Dragonheart. Dragonheart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Mm. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back, and then we're going to talk about Dennis Quaid and Sean Connery in a dragon movie. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, if you like what we do here, uh, if, you, if you don't want to go into the club membership and tell us to watch terrible, shitty movies, go to saltynerdstore.com and pick up some of our merch. We have some really cool designs there. And uh, you guys can rock some of our swag. We've got uh, the official SMP Weekly um, uh, shirt with our logo and stuff on there, along with a bunch of inside jokes. We've got Boob Stalker, which is one of my favorite, that Jude actually wears in public. It's amazing. Sometimes I forget I'm wearing it and I go places. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, saltinerstore.com. Grab some more merch. We have stickers and all bunch of different stuff there. So check it out. It's, uh, it's some good stuff. And it's designed by me and Mr. Kipsch over here. All right. Dragon Heart, Dennis Quaid and Sean Connery. Oh, yes, sir. Jude, I'm take it away. You ready? I'm so stoked. I can't okay. wait to talk about this movie. 1996. Mm. Dragon Heart. That makes sense. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour, 43 minutes. This had a budget of $57 million. What do you think this blockbuster brought into the box office? 57 million? 57 million budget. I'm going to say it made 110. On star power Dennis, alone. Dennis Quaid and Sean Connery in 1996. I'm going to say it Dennis tripled. Quaid and Sean Connery's voice. Yeah, well, uh, 150. I think I remember this being pretty popular. $115 million. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. All right. It's remember, a little upsetting, though. Why? <laughs> this I've got some awful. I've got some real nostalgia for this movie. You yeah, would. you would. I would. Where were you, four? No. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> I'll accept that. That's, that's my Star Wars age, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, Jude. So Dennis Quaid, the mightiest knight in the kingdom, strikes a deal with a dragon to save the life of a young boy who would grow up to become an evil king and also the werewolf professor, Remus Lupin. You don't understand that reference, Alex, because it's Good from reference. Harry Potter. Thank you. Yes. Giving the boy half his heart to save him, the boy and beast become linked in life. When the boy turns cruel and wicked, the knight vows vengeance upon the dragon and his trickery. After the evil king turns him out of the kingdom, Bowen, the knight, spends the next 12 years destroying any dragon he comes across, searching for the one that sounds like Sean Connery. (laughs) Then he meets the last dragon in the world, who sounds exactly like Sean Connery, and decides... (laughs) He's not so bad until he discovers the dragon's secret. He's Sean Connery. (laughs) The one who cursed the boy 
And he's like, I'm going to kill you, Sean Connery. And Sean Connery's like, Psh, that boy was already evil when I healed him. That's true. I like this movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that it? You're done? Oh, no, that's it. Okay. <laughs> That's remember, it. Remember the code, Bowen. I can't remember even, the code. There you go. And also, Dina Meyer is in this. Yes! What? Half star for boobs, you have to. Wait, who? Is she Dina the Meyer? She's the redhead. She's the redhead. That's why I like her. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I liked her. I, I was looking at her, I'm like, God, as she of, looks really familiar. As of right now, minimum uh, for you is half star. Well, it's, well, it's star and a half. Because one star crap fest is my lowest rating. Okay. Unless you don't give things zero? Unless it's Chopping Mall. So then, <laughs> then uh, you're being very mean to me. <laughs> I've been nice to you all day, <laughs> guys. But, uh, if you're new to our podcast, there's a lot of inside jokes going on because this is like a Patreon <laughs> episode. There's comments about shows that we did like a year ago. That's why you might well, not be getting a them. public episode. But our it patrons is. pick the show. Yeah, this is for them, and we're doing it for them for yeah, sure, hundred um, percent. Yeah, um, Dina Meyer, God, I love you. <laughs> I saw I her at the Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, it's the Star Trek. We asked her to come talk to her. She's us, like, who? She's yeah. like, no. I talked to her, and she did this. <laughs> <laughs> but I but was I've like, seen your that's boobs. Fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> your boobs are an automatic half star. <laughs> For and any if, movie that you're in. And if you're only listening to this on uh, just audio only, uh, so she scrunched up her face and put her hand at her neck and 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 did, really? the, did, the, did the no thank you gesture. <laughs> you didn't, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. We asked her to wild. come on our podcast when we were set up at the convention and she was like, she did the... That was one of the nights I had to the go to uni- work. The universal no thank you. Yeah, yeah. He's like, no, cut it We'll out. show you. <laughs> we're going to get super popular and you're going to ask. She was very nice about it. You're going to ask to be on our show. I would love I'd love to have anybody, yeah, anybody, true. even freaking Tofu from C. I'll have him Ooh. on the podcast. I don't care. Let's have James Mangold on I want, here. I want to talk to Aunt Handy. So. <laughs> Aunt Handy? Yeah. We have her on the list. All right. Anyway. Um, um, hey, Polly's here. Never mind. Uh, holy cow. <laughs> I freaking like this movie. I have a lot of nostalgia for this movie. You would. I, I know I would. I was the right age when I saw this movie. I was the appropriate age for it. This is a family friendly Dragon movie, yeah. knights and dragons armor that's, that's and codes and shit like that. <laughs> yes, it's goofy. It's f- the family friendly element of it kind of undercuts the storyline a little bit because it's kind of silly and goofy. But I I watched this when I was like a young kid and I remember watching it. I'm like, oh, Dennis Quaid's a knight and Sean Connery's a dragon. And at the time, I didn't think the CGI was as horrible as it Did- is now, but. Did Dennis Quay like really overact? Oh, yes. He yeah. did, right? But only for so half the movie. Right. <laughs> it wasn't, so it wasn't just me. Oh, no. Because I like, think 20 Dennis minutes Quay, in, I was like, what is he doing with his voice? And I'm going to kill you, Dragon. And then I think maybe it got rough on his throat. And yeah. he was like, I'm not going to do that anymore. Because to oh, me, Dennis Quaid is like a, a cool actor. Yeah. Yeah. But man, this movie is hot garbage yeah. now. That's not that bad. It, no, it is. Oh, no, it is. It's bad, bro. It's just like, <laughs> I hadn't watched this movie for a long time, and I and I kind of sort of remember kind of wanting to like it mm-hmm. back in the day. Like, oh, ooh, cool, computer-generated dragon. It doesn't look that bad. I look back <laughs> at it now, it's hot garbage. It's it is hey, yes. terrible. Hey, Bill Tippett did the animation for the dragon and, you know, all from I Jurassic see, Park. All I see is, you know... Just saying. It, Was it, 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 you know what it reminded me of? You know what this movie reminded me of? What? It reminded me of an episode of Hercules or Xena. Oh, yeah. Sure. Same kind yeah. of budget. Yeah. Same costumes. Same. They filmed the whole thing on some farmer's backyard. <laughs> you, you know, um, it just. It, it did feel like a TV movie. It felt like a, a, yeah. a bad TV movie on the Cartoon Network or something. I back gotcha. in the day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I know that you have like your nostalgia boner mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Um, but you like first saw it when you were a young kid and, and young kids are impressionable and kids are mm-hmm. dumb. And so you don't really know what's <laughs> bad. 100%. But imagine seeing this for, for the first time as a grown ass woman. In 1997? Yeah. Nope. In 2021. Oh, this is your first watch? Yes. <gasps> oh, yeah, I totally get that. Yes. You get it now? I get it. Yeah, yeah, okay, get it. move on to Kadish. Kadish, what did you think about he this movie? He hates it. <laughs> With a passion? So, um, first of all, I'm not a big fan of um, the director of this movie. No, of course not. Who's the, uh, who's the director? I, I, re- I had a run in with him back in Hollywood. Yeah, back in Hollywood. Yeah, okay. Did you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he, he's the guy who created the Fast and Furious franchise. Oh. Um, his name's Rob something or other. I like him even more now. 
he, he always kind of um, came off as kind of like a really full of himself prick to me. Wow. So like I was wow. never I was never like really in love with like his movies. I always thought his movies were overhyped and and under delivered. Um, but I went and saw this in the theater when it came out, and I was very excited about it because I, I kind of think I did too, but I forgot. Yeah. I don't remember. I mean, it's got the DNA of a good movie, right? So it's got Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. It's got you know a great cast, um, interesting concept, and um, I can remember walking out of the theater like, "Fuck that movie." <laughs> It was so dumb, and at the time, it was the it was the first movie to have a fully CGI dragon right. in it, and and that's what they sold this movie on, right? Yeah, and in fact, um, ILM created lip syncing software for the dragon, mm -hmm. um, so that they could match up Sean Connery's you know voice with um, that of Draco. I think he's mm -hmm. called yeah. the movie. Oh, well, sure, you're gonna call me dragon just in a different tongue, eh? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So um, this movie's super boring. <laughs> and I'm ashamed to admit that I fell asleep halfway through it while we were watching it. <laughs> and I usually try to, you know, sit down and watch stuff fully for the show because I'm a prof professional and I like to be professional. But I just didn't have time to get to it. So I only remember half this movie now. Yeah. Like I remember how it ended and the ending was stupid. It was stupid. Um, but it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, uh, the, the whole setup for this, cause like the, the kid was a little shit from mm -hmm. the beginning. Yep. And the fact that Dennis Quaid's character couldn't see that was stupid. Yeah. And then the fact that yeah. and, he just exactly. assumed it was the dragon's fault. Yeah. No, bro. He was a piece of shit like from the beginning. He, from yeah. the very first scene he's mm -hmm. in, like he's a turd. He could yep. have just gone and talked to the mom and the mom could have been like, no, he was always a, an yeah. asshole. Yeah. And the mom's dumb. For taking him to the dragon yeah. to begin with. He was in denial. So she, well, it was dude, just ridiculous. I gotta say. Instead of talking to the mom or figuring out that this kid sucks, he yeah. kills all the dragons in the world. Yeah. This that scene where the mother's like, I made a mistake of saving a creature not worth saving, that still hit hard for me. I was like, God sure. damn. That was a good scene. No, I get it. That was a good scene. Yeah, also, but, but, did you get that like her husband did the same thing to her that the new king, her son, was trying to do to Dina Myers? That's why she hated her son. Uh, and also um, the fact that Sean Connery was the dragon and he has that distinctive voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dennis Quaid's character was searching for years uh -huh. for this dragon. <laughs> yeah. Finally meets him. He's the last one. He's the mightiest, <laughs> but the dumbest. Yeah. He's like in, his, in your backyard, bro. It was 12 years. Yeah. yeah. It's your bud. If you heard Sean Connery talk for about three minutes 12 years ago, and then met Sean Connery again, totally understand. No, you would know, th exactly. know yeah. that You'd voice. be like, oh, you're that dude I met 12 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I get it. Remember that one experience in my life where you ripped out half your heart and put it in the boy I love who turned evil? Mm -hmm. I have no idea who that turned. is. <laughs> Who's already evil? Yeah. Shout it's out just... to Jurassic Park, uh, The Lost World. This, Roland is in this movie. Th th this is also a movie that feels way too long. Yeah. Like, like it feels like it goes on way longer than it does because it's so dumb. And the original concept for this movie was like a mercenary and a dragon team up to run scams on villagers. Mm -hmm. And then from there they developed it into this movie. And this movie made enough money where like they made a bunch of shitty sequels to it. And it was just what? like- Did you guys know that there's a sequel that was made in 2020? Get out of here. I'm no. not shitting you. When I rented this movie on Amazon, there was like 15 of these fucking movies and one of them was made last year. I was blown you know away. What? That oh makes God. sense because they came out with a lot of shitty movies in 2020. <laughs> well, also all you needed was a cell phone with one of those CGI apps <laughs> yeah. to make the dragon. Uh -huh. And the poster is just the head of a dragon with an eye. Uh -huh. It was amazing. I can't wait to watch it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not watching it. I love this movie. So it's actually really scared when, cause Cage falls asleep a lot during <laughs> movies. And usually what will happen is he'll fall asleep and then he makes me rewatch it with him. Oh no. Cause that's really the only time that we get to spend together <laughs> during the week is when we're watching shit for this. So mm -hmm. thanks a lot patrons. <laughs> um, so when he fell asleep, I was like, Oh fuck, he's going to make me rewatch this tomorrow. Let's wake him, him up. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I do. I, I usually try to wake him up. I usually kick him because <laughs> my feet are usually in his lap, my ice cold feet. And when he falls asleep, I just like jerk. Oh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was her foot in my lap. Oh, I thought it was a dog. <laughs> I had a slipper on. And when I, when I jerked, anyway. my slipper flew up. Sorry. Uh, so usually uh, I do try to wake him up, but 
he, he, there was no waking him up during this. And I was really fearful that he was going to make me rewatch this the next day with him. Uh, hmm. But I'm glad that I didn't have to do that. So the director is Rob Cohen. His name just came to me. So Rob Cohen was the one behind this movie. He was also the one behind the very first Fast and Furious movie, which eventually spawned the franchise. Um, but it's typical of his movies that I just, I hate them. I hate them so much and I don't enjoy them. And, you know, I'm very sorry patrons because I usually have like a lot of like fun facts and stuff to talk about it, but this movie just turns me off so much. Nobody needs to know more information about this movie. Yeah. Like it's just, it's not a good movie um, at, at its core. Like I can understand Alex's nostalgia goggles because like, you know, if you're a kid and you watch something as dumb as this, yeah. you're just kind of like, oh, that was cool. And, you know, we get to see early David Thewlis looking like a, like a weird tramp. <laughs> Like, ginger yeah <laughs> very very odd looking yeah, ginger very odd looking like how, how can you not see that that guy's evil and then, and then, <laughs> then, was, then jason isaacs and his like weird banana hammock underwear yeah yeah and, that was a uh, captain dude from discovery from the first season right? yeah yeah he, well okay so where i know him from is from mel gibson's patriot he was the bad guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's actually a really good actor. He's a really good yeah, actor. Some but, good, but, but, this but, has a good pedigree. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, Rob but Thomas is, is, is in this? It, the bad guy from Cobra? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, but in this movie, like, Jason right. Isaacs almost like... He's comedic. But, Every, well, well, well he, he's so bad at the performance this, okay, he's guys, giving. Guys, this is a kid's movie. This is like my version of the Goonies. Um, it's PG-13. It is not a kid's movie. Also, I meant Brian Thompson. Nothing happens that makes it worthy of a PG-13 rating. I agree. This is just a bad movie, dude. It's not a bad it movie. Is, it's it a kid's a movie. movie. It's no. meant for a certain age group. Eh. This is the high fantasy, dragons and knights and codes this of almost, honor. This almost feels like an 80s movie. Like, yeah, like, so like, does. Like, like yeah. The, the level of fantasy that we saw in the 80s feels like this movie but okay. it was in the mid 90s and and dina meyer's wig looks like it's falling oh, off it so the whole movie. <laughs> like, like I, I pointed that out to you i was like dude is that a wig and you're like oh most oh, for sure hundred yeah. percent yeah but i don't know i didn't hate it I, I dina meyer and her her little plight with her father how it paid back to the very beginning where her father is the one who killed the tyrant king and then the son now wants to take revenge it's well, i didn't well, hate well, that well, i don't hate well, to kill the king also, no, yeah. he's a piece of shit. Yeah, now I see stuff like the king had his the dude's eyes gouged completely out. Yeah, with his thumbs with fire. With fire. Yeah, with the and fire. Then, hot and, then, poker. and then and then then at the, when he finally gets him killed, he actually has his eyes there, and he looks like an extra from C, <laughs> just kind of glazed over. His eyes were gone. He has holes in his skull at this point. So, um, yeah, just weird little goofy stuff. This but no, dude, this movie, this movie is just another. This it it has not aged well. Um, all of every actor involved in this thing should have known better and it should have been better. And it was just a poor, poor movie. It's just movie. a family friendly movie. Dude. Yeah, all family, was, all family friendly movies suck. Yeah. With lots of rape yeah. and pillaging and all that good and, family friendly stuff. Mm -hmm. There's just rape. Yeah. If yeah. you had taken the rape out of this, this would have been a PG what? movie. There's rape. There's no rape. There's like, there's implied, implied, oh, implied. Okay. I'm going to, but it never actually happens. Yeah. And also that that is the mother. I just, uh, mm. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I got some big old fat nostalgia goggles going That's on okay. here. That's okay. You're allowed. It's fine. It happens every once in a while. I don't hate this movie. I watched it twice this week. I was like, Ugh. I remember this. Something I remember something. watching this. You can watch it with your boys. It, yeah, exactly. This is like, cool, I was looking so. at it and I'm like, you know what? My seven year old is about the age where I, I would probably sit down and watch this sure. movie with him. And he'd probably think it was pretty cool. So that's where I'm at. It's just a family-friendly, goofy, sci high fantasy movie uh, to me. I don't hate it. It's like Willow or something like that for you guys. It's right there. It's goofy. It's Willow's silly. Better. Willow's way better. Mm. Willow has magic. <sighs> so Fairies. does this. Fairies and brownies. Dragons. Going to go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah, she, I thought if I just shaved this piece of shit child, I'd go to heaven yeah. with the rest of the dragons. I did, like, I did think it was kind of funny when he had a... One of one of his old night hunter stuck in his teeth. Stuck, stuck in his that teeth. That whole scene was hilarious. That was, that was cool. okay. wow. well, if you hilarious stick your shard, is an overstatement. yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, I thought it was funny, funny, sir. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I'm Alex sorry. Alex does not know when things are funny. I'm very buzzed right now and off I, of dragon. And I did kind of get a kick out of the uh, the, the 
the the monk dude who was, was writing yeah, the song. He was, was a funny, funny too. Yeah, but, yeah, but is that your favorite part? you know, so like there was a lot of King Arthur mythology in mm -hmm. this, where they go to Avalon and stuff like that, and then at the end of the movie, um, they have to kill Sean Connery in order to kill the evil king because mm -hmm. they share the heart, and it's supposed to be this big, like you know, big climactic, em yeah, ending. emotional ending, and I was just like, thank God, thank God, it's over. <laughs> God, it's over. Yes, I totally understand. <laughs> All right, Vader, you have this in writing. Uh, Dina Myers. Um, two stars. I'll give it two stars. Okay. It's it's not a good movie. It has not aged well. No, it has um, not. I I liked it better twenty years ago. Yes, hundred percent liked it better twenty years ago. Yep. Um, like I said, it's just it's Xena Hercules level of cringe now for me, and um, I would rather go watch Hercules or Xena. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay. Two two stars. All right. Two stars. Jude. Uh, um, I'm going to give it a half star for Dina Meyer's boobs in a different movie. Okay. And, uh, I will give it one and, uh, three quarters stars for being a shitty movie. So that gives it 1.75. Mm -hmm. So that gives it a total <laughs> of two stars. Oh, okay. Wait, two and a half stars. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, I, I think. Don't know. <laughs> yeah. No one said there'd be math. No. <laughs> I'm still a math quiz here? What is this? Nonsense. <laughs> Whatever. Matthew Gators. Alex is just drunk enough to think everything I say is funny. This is fucking great, guys. <laughs> what did you think about this movie? Or what's your, what's your rating for this one? It's a one star crap fest. Yeah. I mean, not even Dina Meyer's boobs in another movie could save this one. <laughs> so, yeah, one star. God, hey, this is the least amount you've ever talked. He doesn't like it. Nothing to talk about. He wow. fell asleep. So uh, fun, 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 fun fact, I was so busy this week, I didn't have time to do my normal notes uh, for this episode. And we so. all thank you for it. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to have to wing it. And I was like, that sounds awesome. <laughs> he, is it possible that he can do such a thing? Um, I, my, with nostalgia, heavy, look, guys, I know there's going to be a bunch of comments. You fucking pleb. Um, two and a half. Nostalgia goggles, heavy nostalgia goggles, two and a half stars. It's all a right. two star movie. Dina Meyer makes it a half star higher. There like you go. how you guys all jumped on my grading system. It's a great way of rating thought, movies with I Dina Meyer that in was them. Now the rule. <laughs> yeah, it's the rule. <laughs> yeah. If Dina Meyer's in a movie, it's an automatic half automatic star. Automatic half star yeah. for boobs. For boobs. For boobs from a different movie. <laughs> in we star, love Dina Meyer. Half star yeah. for boobs. Probably Starship making Coopers. her very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, if she's watching. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I can see she's it. a big fan of the show. Tina, did you know we give every movie you're in an extra half star? <laughs> because you have your boobs out in Starship Troopers? <laughs> this is good stuff. We can't say that know, shit right? to her. I no, I oh, will. Oh, God, I hope she never hears if I this. Can, if I can tell fucking Carol Baskin's best friend that her she's a murderer, <laughs> I can tell Dina Meyer is that. So, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Just because you did do that does not mean that you can't I'm, I, I'm do that. that. Guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> All right. That's it for I'll, I'll text Dragon, her right Dragon now. Heart. I'll send her a tweet right now. I, I, I should give it an extra quarter of a star for Sean no. Connery's voiceover. No. <laughs> the voting has closed on the movie. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for Dragon Heart. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to talk about Reign of Fire. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, if you like what we do here and you want to communicate with the host of the podcast and talk about all kinds of cool stuff, go to saltandairdiscord.com and join our Discord community. There's a bunch of publicly open uh, servers that you can jump into and talk about all kinds of cool stuff with our community that's already there. Uh, it's a great time. We have tons of fun. I'm always in the chat, making sure I'm uh, talking with anybody who hops in. If you're new, you hop in. I'll give you a roll. Well, I'll make sure everybody else knows you're there. We'll get the conversation going. It's a ton of fun. Also, Mr. Kadish has set up a Facebook group. Why don't you tell them all about that, buddy? Yeah, just go to Facebook and search for The Salty Nerd. We have a page and a group over there. And uh, we simulcast a lot of our live streams to the Facebook group. And uh, we would love it if you joined us. I always get them mixed up. I know so there's a group and there's a page. I know there's a group or there's a page. Very, oh, very little page about Facebook. This, yeah. this is our Facebook guy yeah. right here. But anyway, yeah, Facebook and Discord. If you guys want to chat with us, if you want to talk about movies, or if you want to suggest movies that we can watch, hop in there. All right, last movie on our list today is my favorite of the week, Reign of Fire. That's not saying much. Matthew McConaughey. 
sexy and sweaty <laughs> and uh and all tattooed and all tattooed up i just love that guy you know what i'm saying it's good stuff sounds like freaking bill clinton that was weird <laughs> jude take it away what is this movie all about 2002 reign of fire rated pg-13 with a runtime of one hour 41 minutes this had a budget of 60 million dollars what do you think this brought into the box office 200 vader man i i don't remember if this movie made money or not um What'd you say? 200. And it was cost 60? Mm-hmm. 120. 82. That's it? That's yeah. it, yeah. Shit. I, I, I knew I was high. Dude, it's got freaking Christian Bale, Matthew yeah, McConaughey, but Gerard this, Butler. I mean, On this, paper, this should work. Oh, this, this movie's very dark, dude. It's, at, it's, at the time it came out, Christian Bale and Gerard Butler were not the box office yeah, draws that they are today. It's a Matthew McConaughey movie. Yeah, like he got top billing because he was the biggest star in the movie at mm-hmm. the time, and he doesn't even show up till 30 minutes in. Right. Yeah. I love every minute yeah. of this freaking movie. All right, you take it away. Go All ahead. All right. The year is 2020, and dragons have taken over. What remains of human life lives underground, just trying to survive and not starve to death. When Matthew McConaughey rolls up with his tanks and not Dina Meyer, <laughs> they reveal to Christian Bale that the key to killing the species is in killing the last male dragon. Matthew McConaughey needs volunteers for the suicide mission, but Christian Bale is nobody's ride or die. He's got up close and personal history with the beast and wishes a motherfucker wouldn't. <laughs> He hunkers down in his castle, hoping it all blows over. It doesn't. The dragon comes to blow their house down, and now that the dragon has made it personal, Bruce Wayne is on board with the dragon slaying to avenge Wayne Castle and his mother, the first person the dragon ever killed. I freaking love this movie. Dude. I, I, I love this movie. As many times as I've seen this movie... I could have sworn that was Dina Meyer <laughs> as, as the helicopter it pilot. It totally looks like it's, Dina Meyer. It should have been. <laughs> yeah. Discount I'd Dina give Meyer. it an extra star if it had been. Yeah, discount Dina Meyer. Yeah, that's who it is. Oh, sorry, Peekaboo. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I freaking love this movie. It's it's on my regular watch no, list. No, it's a cool movie. Uh, it was only four ninety nine on I Amazon. Bought I bought it. I did. I bought I it. I freaking uh, love this like, movie. Like any movie that costs three ninety nine to rent or four ninety nine to buy, just buy it. That we watch for, for the Dragon show, Wars. I'm gonna buy. Yeah, I just just to put in my digital collection for yeah. sure. So I. I I'm in, dude. It's I, still on sale, guys. You can go get it for about- right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use our Amazon link. I love the characters. <laughs> I love the aesthetic. I love the the storyline. Yeah. It, it's freaking cool. The as dragons hell. in this show are legit. Yeah, they they really are good and well done. Although technically they're wyverns, not dragons, yeah. because they only have two arms and not four. Yeah. That's yeah, that's, that's a, true. That, well, I forgot to. I was too drunk to mention this, but yeah, there's. Several different classes of dragons. Like you, Mister Dungeons and Dragons. Over. I know, right? Yeah. It's like so, I got my monster manual out, ones, and I started to like. I needed to like. You know, yeah. What is it? The ones with four legs and wings are called something different, and then the ones with two legs and front wings that those are, wa- wi- those are wither, wivers, wivers, wither, yeah. whatever the hell. I don't care. Anyway, uh, this is top tier freaking dragon movies for me. I oh yeah love this movie. I watch it all the time. It's on my. Re- I just. This, I, I did watch when, it a couple listen, months man, ago. When when I said when, when we when we said to the patrons pick dragon movies, they were supposed to pick this one, <laughs> and, and which they did, and and Dragon, dragon Slayer, Slayer, and you know something else. But you know they they got one movie right this week, so <laughs> that, that was fine. What do you that think about fine. this movie? Um, I enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I did. I it's it's. I hadn't seen it for a while. Um, but I remember that I did enjoy it when, when I first watched it and I, and I've probably seen this movie half a dozen times. Um, I always, I always enjoy it. Um, but this time I, I don't know what happened. I watched it last night and I, no, I watched it two days ago. No, yesterday. I watched it yesterday. Um, and I did enjoy myself, but. I felt like I needed, I, I watched it in the middle of the day. So it was, it was really bright. Mm. So I had a hard time with, because the, the whole movie is very It's a very dark. dark movie, yeah. You need to watch this movie in a dark room with the lights off and your TV on. And and um, otherwise you're going to miss stuff. Because it's a dark movie from the beginning to the end. And um, But other than that, I, I, I enjoy this movie. I, I think it's kind of a weird mishmash between like a, a Mad Max movie and, and uh 
I, know, I'd watch a freaking prequel about <laughs> yeah, oh for sure about Matthew McConaughey. <clears throat> Matthew McConaughey's character. I love I love his character. He's it's so freaking cool, dude. Yeah, I forget. He's his such name. a freaking yeah. Viking savage. Yeah. Like, like I love it. It's like I remember when it first came out, we all looked, that's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, he's like, he's freaking shredded that with his like, tribal tattoos. He's been hitting the gym and he's got his oh, cool ass axe and his bald head bald yeah. headed bearded. Bald yeah, buddy. Yeah. Bald head I remember when he was prepping for this role, yeah. and like there were a lot of pictures of him, like everywhere of him, like with the bald head and mm-hmm. the muscles and the tattoos. And people were like, "What is this role yeah, well, he's preparing?" For? I have a huge man crush on Matthew McConaughey. If you guys don't already know this, I freaking love that dude. He's so freaking cool. Would you touch it, not suck it? Or Absolutely. Okay. No, I'd suck it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Good for you. Hundred wow. percent with that Texas <laughs> accent. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Good thing about shops and nerds, they keep getting older and actually the same age. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, Con- Matthew McConaughey doesn't age. He's the same age. Yeah, I see him every movie, and I'm like, it's been 20 years since he's done Dragon, <laughs> freaking yeah. whatever movie, and he looks the same. Uh, Jude, yes. What are your thoughts on this movie? Uh, my favorite part is in the beginning with the young Quinn because that kid is really funny, uh, and he discovers the dragon, and he's like, he's like, oh, okay, he's yeah, like, yeah. no, I haven't been smoking. I only smoke when I drink, Mom. You know that. <laughs> ha ha ha! Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. That's your favorite and part. I of this thought movie. that's the movie I was getting when I got okay. into it, and I was like, all of a sudden, I was like, oh shit, this is was, depressing. Hey, was this a first watch? No, uh, I think it was the second watch, but okay. I don't really remember how or why I saw it the first time. Okay. okay. All right, that's it. That's all you got. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's not much to say about it. What? There's so much to talk about. Go ahead. All right, Matthew Kadish, what are your thoughts on this one? So I went and saw this in the theater when it first came out and I was really jazzed to see it because it looked, the trailers were really Mm -hmm. good. It looked badass. Um, And I've never gotten over my disappointment in this movie. Um, I feel like it was a lot of wasted potential there. Mm -hmm. And um, upon rewatching it years later, because I haven't watched this movie in a long time, I feel like it's better than I remember it being. But at the same time, I'm still like, you know fuck this movie (laughs) because like it's just it's a movie that fails to achieve what it could have in my opinion and i have a lot of headcanon about this movie in the sense that like i wish that it had started off with just like a movie about one dragon and the destruction that one dragon does and then they defeat that dragon then you find out it's the male it's seeded all these eggs and then in the distance like hundreds of dragons rise up and the humanity is just like oh shit that movie sounds awesome yeah and and i was like that that's the movie i thought i was getting because the opening of this movie is very kind of like deceptive Uh um and this this movie it's basically just about a bunch of people living in a castle and the dragons are just kind of like periphery um uh, up until the end but the thing i hate about this movie is that there's this family it's like this guy and his and his sons and daughters and the movie starts off with them we're going to go to the um the food growing uh, place for the entire village. And we're just going to start picking stuff before it's ready. Mm-hmm. And uh, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, we're hungry. Mm-hmm. And they're like, but we need the seeds in order to continue to feed ourselves. And we can't do it right now because if we lead the dragon there, we're all fucked. So later on in the movie, this family goes back to that orchard. Like four seconds after yeah. that. Yeah. Like, like nobody's watching them. Nobody's yeah. put them on parole or anything like that. They yeah. go. This, this happens one morning and then that night yeah. that guy like steals so, a truck. So, so like they, they go to the orchard. They start stealing food and a dra- they let a dragon there. And then the dragon starts, you know, doing what dragons do. These people drop the food that they just stole and then they get trapped in, in this fire and then they're rescued. And then after being rescued, they're not punished. And then they go fuck off with Matthew McConaughey to fight the dragon. And then, then they die. Mm-hmm. All of them die. And it's like, okay, what was the point of, of those characters? Because like there was no redemption arc there. There, there was nothing that really put the um, moral dilemma at the forefront of you know the movie. And there was just like, there was a bunch of little stuff in this movie that was good. Like I liked the retelling of the you know, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, fight. That was fun. That you was know, awesome. like, like that was that was funny. Yeah. Um, but overall, like I felt like the whole first half of this movie was very slow and frustrating. 
And then when Matthew McConaughey shows up and we start following him, I'm like, this is the guy I want to be following yeah. in this movie. And you know, like he was totally Ahab. And um, it was kind of funny because Christian Bale, you know, he's known as being a very method actor. And when he was getting ready to do the movie, he was like, okay, you know, uh, these people don't have a lot of food. They've been struggling. So I'm going to slim down. I'm going to drop a bunch of weight for this role so I can look like I'm someone who hasn't been well fed. And then when he saw Matthew McConaughey, he, he, he was like, oh, I got to bulk up. <laughs> and, and so like the very first time we, we see the adult Quinn, you know, he's, he's digging a tunnel in a cave and he's got a shirt off and Christian Bale shredded. Just shredded. Yeah. And he, and you know, at a certain point they have to fight and Christian Bale was like, I don't want to be like a scrawny guy fighting. Well, he you know, still Matthew gets McConaughey. his freaking ass handed to him though. He, he, he does. He holds up okay for a minute. Yeah. But I mean, not against Matthew Van Damme. McConaughey has Van Damme? been, yeah. What's oh. that's not he's not in this movie. What if? What if? <laughs> that's a, that's a anyway, show on Disney. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he holds a, he holds his own for a minute, but like Matthew McConaughey comes in there and he's he's a legitimate dragon slayer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're not and, gonna win in this. And fight. I, I would say out of the three movies that we watched this week, this is definitely the best for one. Sure. Oh, easily, yeah. Yeah. easily the best and, one. But still, in my opinion, there aren't any really good dragon movies. The best dragon movie is How to Train Your Dragon, in my opinion. No. That's a really the cartoon? good cartoon. Dude, no, the, the I'm, cartoon, the, the, yeah. the I'm with Kanish 100%. That movie is that movie is good, the and I best, hate cartoons. The best dragon movies out there right now, besides this one, which is one of my favorites, is How to Train Your Dragon. That whole that, series. That's the third movie they should have picked for. Those are so freaking good. One of them, I think it was Aaron suggested yeah, that movie, and yeah. I was like, I don't think I want to get Jude to watch an animated show. Well, she's gonna have. To I would have watch watched it with Red. It's freaking good. It's so good. <laughs> Even all three of them are really good. Uh, so I, I don't know, dude, I, I get what you're saying, but I think that whole dynamic with like the people who are like, we're starving, we're dying. I've got kids to feed. Oh, we should also point out Dr. Bashir was also in this movie. Yes. Yeah, he showed up in a lot of films that he was like, the dude with the recently. headphones who was listening to the radio. Alexander Siddick. Yeah. Yeah. DS9. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's he's in two of these, what, he, what is it about this dude <laughs> that I just look at him and I forget that he's, he's there? Really it's good weird. at blending in. <laughs> he, well, when, he when, he was on game, when he was on Game of Thrones, I instantly knew it was him. He was on Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah he was. Uh, he was the Martell King. Yeah, he, he was, was the head of the Martell uh, House. Martell. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't okay. very much, but he was there. Yeah, dude, yeah, that guy's only like everything. Yeah, I, I didn't know he was. In <laughs> he this. shows up in Foundation. Yeah. He was in wow. uh, Clash of the Titans. He was like. He just shows up in like everything. He's a very distinctive looking guy. So I don't know why when he's on screen, I gloss over him for some reason. I, he I never plays strange. main. He's always like on the very side. Strange. He's like side character. He probably goes from movie set to movie set and he's like, hey guys. Well, so what are you doing over here? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you, you need an know. extra? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, just, I don't know. just feed me and I'm fine. Yeah. He's like, Sitting I'm just, I'll be over here right? craft services. You need an extra body. You just let me know. And they're like, you know what? That guy's in everything. Get him over yeah. here. The yeah. funny thing is he's got yeah. that Star Trek money, so he doesn't need to work. Yeah. yeah. But, but like he just he shows does it up for the joy of working. He shows like he showed up in that episode of foundation. The first episode mm -hmm. he's just like, he just shows up. He's just like, Hey, as long yeah. as he keeps being good and everything he's in. Uh, I, I don't know, dude. I, I disagree. I think this is a great movie. I think the moral conundrum of like, because Christian Bale is like very against, don't go there, don't get the food. It's not ready. It's not going to germinate. He has a solid argument. And then once that family goes out there and does the freaking dumb thing because they're desperate and he's, the guy's trying to feed his kids, I get it. When he comes back, Christian Bale's like, what if he has a point? Well, but yeah. but the thing is, is so like he warns Matthew McConaughey not to go after the male dragon in London because the last people who did that had their entire like village destroyed by that mm -hmm. dragon because he traced him back. Yeah. So what, but, hap what happens when Matthew McConaughey leads that caravan off? He doesn't tell everyone to bunker down. He doesn't tell everyone to make preparations in case the dragon's attacked. He just fucks off. He just go, <laughs> get, goes, goes to the garden and tries to find some not seared tomatoes, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it was just like, like, you know, like if I, if I was that worried that Matthew McConaughey's character, Van Zant, if I was that worried that Van Zant and his troop of soldiers was going to lead the main dragon back to my castle, I'd have been evacuating people. I'd have been like having them hunker down, get ready for like, you know, a dragon attack. I'd have been shoring up, you know, supplies and stuff like that. Like it, it just, it, that, that thing always irritated me. I get that. Like that's, that's a fair argument. Um, Van Zant. Den Denton, Denton Van Zant. Denton. Yeah. God, what a freaking character he is. Yeah. Oh, he's totally Ahab in this movie. Oh, yeah, so yeah. badass. That scene it's where he's- a good name. Yeah, it's a really cool name. That scene where he's getting like FaceTime with, with Christian Bale. He had the funniest Bale. death though. 
I'm freaking going at it with a Viking axe, trying to kill him. He, he, he was he, dinner, yeah. dude. He was a snack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he jumps off this tower. He's like in midair with the axe. He's like, Rah! and then the dragon's just like, Doop. chump. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a little was anticlimactic. Like, was that it? it was like, <laughs> oh, I thought that was like, I know I'm sacrificing myself because he's like, you got eight seconds. Go do your thing. You know, whatever. He's just trying I, to be. I, he's I, the I, distraction. I thought his death scene was kind of lame. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't get it, but uh, um. It's a, it's a Viking war. He's going to Valhalla, bro. Yeah, I get it. It's I, fine. I actually thought the first time that they killed a dragon, where like they have like the archangels mm -hmm. and all, all that stuff, man. that was the best scene in the movie. Yeah. yeah, I felt like that the the final fight with the boss dragon just. I was like, I'm bored. Yeah. I've never, yeah. I've never yeah. really understood like, though what what they're uh, what they're doing in the helicopter with the skydivers so, and stuff. I, I know I get it. They're flying through the air and trying to net him so he falls and all yeah. this Yeah, well, shit. that's it. They, but it kind of is so dumb. It, <laughs> it's really dumb. And it's just, you're not going to win a fight in the air. Well, they against, do, against kind of. I mean, they've done it before. Listen, nets are very powerful. Have you ever seen well, look. how, like, sea uses nets? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> Listen, can defeat a net. If you're on the ground. Well, the dragon did. If you're the on the ground, the you do not stand a chance against a dragon, right? You're on the ground there. What are you you're gonna shoot it with a freaking shotgun? That's no, not really well, gonna work. You shot it with a big arrow. A big arrow, but it was in the in the sky. So what yeah. you do is when you're flying down and you're skydiving with this thing and you trap its wings so that it can't fly and then it just nose dives it from got, 10, but feet. It got, it got rid of the nets. That was because they didn't have an eyesight on it. It's just, it's just a dumb concept. It no, doesn't, I, I it disagree. Work. It I think doesn't it, work. I think it totally I'll, works. I'll tell you, the best part about this movie was when we first meet Matthew McConaughey and he gives the speech about how he realized how to kill the dragon. He's mm -hmm. like, Magic hour. Yeah, they got, they got great eyesight during the day, even better at night. Mm -hmm. But um, in the wanting light, they can't focus. And, and, you know, like he just has this great little monologue and Christian Bale's just sitting there like listening to him. And by the time you're, by the time he's done with it, you're just like, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> yeah. definitely want to follow that Denton into friggin' war. Yeah, which, um, so speaking of things that didn't make sense about this movie, um, <laughs> so the initial time they kill a dragon mm -hmm. and like the people who live in the castle, they're pumped. Oh, They've yeah. never felt powerful before. This is an opportune time for Matthew McConaughey to come in and be like, you want to feel like that all the time? Join my fight. What he does is he comes in, he goes, you all make me sick. Yeah, and he walks away. Yeah. And then the next day he's like, oh, I need volunteers. Only four people. Well, you're a dick. Nobody <laughs> wants to work for you. <laughs> he was yeah. sad. He lost like four members of his team. Okay. He's been a warrior for a while. He needs to suck it up. You don't get to be sad. <laughs> and also Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> he was crying in that scene. Remember he was all tearing up. Don't give he's me like, shit. I just lost four people in my team. You people make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> You could well, have gotten, as long as you say it like that, you know it what? Okay, you lost so. four people, and then all you got was four people. So yeah. you got your four people back. It's like what? We got one dragon it's just down. Math. Got, yeah, but they <laughs> if you had been less of an asshole, you probably would have gotten forty people. The four people were the tomato thieves, though. So they, they, they don't even. <laughs> maybe, maybe they equal one person. Those guys suck <laughs> the at tomato like, thieves. being covert. <laughs> That's what they were. They were the tomato. Yeah, thieves. the tomato thieves. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve to die. They stole tomatoes. And I they got know. that I, whole orchard burned, so now nobody gets food. Yeah, well, they're totally screwed. But mm -hmm. there was they killed that dragon. I thought maybe they might use that for like some meat or something. Well, well yeah, that's what well, they should have done. You can't, yeah. eat, dragons. Thing up. You well, can't well, eat dragons. I don't know. They, 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 they use the rotting carcass as a way to keep other dragons away because they don't like the smell of their dead. Well, you can do that. Leave the guts and the entrails yeah. to give the you know ward away other dragons, and then take the freaking you know the back straps and the mm -hmm. freaking hind quarters and all that stuff and yeah. feed your family from probably make like wine sacks out of the intestines hell yeah say jude and i are on the same team yeah like let's those go. teeth I, are I good for armor yeah. dragon armor yeah. right how do you build a freaking suit of armor the same out of thing. a shield out of its scales like fuck you then yeah he, then he looks like that guy from uh douche wars and just i'm gonna go full skyrim bro yeah, like, yeah. just have a freaking dragon helmet with giant horns and be like i'm a dragon slayer <laughs> i'm in dude let's go yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is good. Use the teeth to d dig more tunnels. There you go. So, yeah. uh, is it safe to say we all kind of, sort of like? I don't this know. Movie? What's your final rating for this one? Um, two and a half. <laughs> yeah, two and a half. That's it. That's it. It's dark. It's a, it's a, it's it's kind of hard to watch. The dragons are cool. Don't get me wrong. The dragons are cool, but the, the rest of the movie is kind of dark. I like Matthew McConaughey, mm -hmm. but he's not enough to. Make me want to watch this movie a lot. I mean, it's not going to be something I watch all the time. I mean, it's it's a cool dragon movie, but I don't know. It's just kind of middle of the road. 
Sorry, man. I don't know. What, I don't know what else to what are, your, what are your thoughts on this? I was gonna give it three stars, but I have to take off a half star for that not being Dina Meyer. <laughs> so it's two and a half. Um, Matthew McConaughey's out of five. I'm very sad right now. Uh, <laughs> Tadish, go ahead and just give you a rating. This is a two and a half. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Two and a half. <laughs> yeah, I would say like this is a very much a two and a half movie. Yeah. Um, I think that like I, I had. I felt like this movie had so much potential to be really, really good and they just didn't do it. So, you know, I might be being unfair by not giving it a full three star, but I just like, there's always been something about this movie that just irritated me. And it was because like, I feel like in my head, I could have come up with a better version of this mm -hmm. movie. Um, and it's not that, and I know that that's stupid and selfish and, uh, along those natures, but it's just every time I watch this movie, I'm like, oh, they could have done this yeah. or they could have done that. It could have been better. However, in hindsight, the prognostication of the year 2020 being real bad, it's not far <laughs> off. This is true. Like when we saw it, it says like the year 2020, we're just like, oh, of course. Yeah, ma that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> Dragons year... would have been cooler than what we got. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Um, God, jeez. It's, the, it's definitely the best. I'm not going to be influenced by you naysayers. <laughs> For me. You can like what you like. Yeah. Um, four my, star. I fucking love this movie, dude. I'm, I was going to say I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, four star is a bit high. That this is movie. awesome. That's little, I freaking strong. love this movie, Listen, dude. It's a lot easier to not judge Alex if you start texting when he starts yeah. talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little strong, bro. Yeah, like, like, I could see maybe three and a half. That's yeah, pushing it. Yeah. What's the half star? Fucking four, really, that's dude? Not, it's bro. That's it's not, not Dina Meyer, dude. That's I, you're you're forced. That's like Temple of Doom level good. Temple of Doom sucked. <gasps> this is a four star oh, movie. Fuck off. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go pee. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'll tell them where to find you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> no, dude. I freaking love this movie. I watch it anytime. Anybody said, hey, you want to watch Rain of Fire? Hell yes, I do. Let me let me get some dragon dragon blood but drink. First, and you have to watch Goonies. Yeah, no, it's not a, a, an actual four star movie. Get the yeah, Would you're you? nuts. You're nuts. You're nuts. You're nuts. You're freaking crazy. Four there are no stars. dumb kids. Fuck you and your four and stars. And the freaking cone headed. Oh, I can't say that word. <laughs> There's none of that shit in this movie. Four stars. There's my badass ass. Matthew McConaughey with a freaking Viking axe fighting badass looking dragons. That yeah. still hold up as far yeah, as CGI that, he's, goes. He's pretty cool. This is dope. This he's is cool, cool shit. Yeah. I love this movie. Yeah, okay. Four stars. I'm sticking. Here's my flag Standing on my hill. Alone on a mountain of dicks. <laughs> Alex loves the rain of fire. Uh, Matthew McConaughey's penis. I wouldn't eat an entire mountain of dicks for liberty, yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> a beach full of them? A beach full of dicks. A castle full of dicks? A castle full hell of yeah. all of the dicks. Take all the dicks for all this right, movie. So, <laughs> Two and a half stars for the actual movie critics, and <gasps> and and four for you. Okay, How dare it. you? That's fine. How dare you? No, that's cool, bro. You like what you like. Go it's watch okay. your freaking Goonies movies. We like you. It's, that's that's fine. You can have your mountain. You can just stand I love on, you I love stand this on movie. your molehills. I love this movie. I don't like Bruce Campbell movies. It's, it's I get it. Okay, it's fine. All right, cool. And clue, and, I like and Clue. Is you know what? I don't like realize Clue either. This. So you know, I I've I, been, I, I totally I, get where you're coming. I've been slowly realizing that like. There is not a Matthew McConaughey movie out there that I don't like. Really? Yeah. I've been going through his... I'm you like, like a secret man crush on him? I, I kind of do, yeah. It's no secret. Right. What, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? I fucking love that movie. I like that movie. W wait, Wedding Planner wait, with J-Lo? Oh, this is Sahara guy. Sahara? Oh, that's a terrible movie. I love his movies, man. I'm a huge... I'm going to have him on my show one day. I'm going to have him I'm gonna on be my like, show. What's up? Matthew McConaughey, how are you doing, When man? he's governor of Texas. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for our Dragon yeah. Week. Magic Mike? Is he in that movie? Uh-huh. I haven't yep. seen it, but... Uh, <gasps> You're going to come over this Friday. We're going to watch <laughs> oh, Magic Lord. Mike. I'm going to come on something. Get All on right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm getting all horny on Matthew McConaughey. That's weird, dude. I got a man crush on that dude. Oh, man. Wait till you see Magic Mike. If that's what he, uh, he strips. Uh, no shit? Yep. Oh, he, he's the head stripper. He teaches yeah. all the other of strip course he strippers is. how to he's do it. He's the master stripper. Of course he is. All right. Shout out to our patrons. I'm going to go down the list. This is off our Discord app. So if you're a patron of the con of the podcast and you're not on Discord, you're missing out. You got to hop over there on Discord because you get exclusive access. Backyard Tardis, the man himself, Nick, the SMP Time Lord. A uh, sleepy koala, Gasso, uh, Preston, uh, Caloria, 
I, I think I'm saying that correctly. Yes. She's awesome. Uh, Hasboy, he's an early supporter. Uh, he's uh, awesome dude. R2 the Icky, uh, Scare of Scuttlebutt podcast. Shout out to Ro. Uh, Samurai Berserker, Aaron from Down Under. Uh, PNR Comps, also a patron of the uh, content. And a Quantum Cat. And the Popcast guys over there on yes. their YouTube channel. Thank you all very much for your support. Really appreciate it. And although we talk some shit about these movies, we do really enjoy doing these episodes where we, you guys we have, get to we pick. We have more, more patrons than that, but I guess those are the ones that- Those are the ones on movies. Discord. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got I to gotta find- Get on Discord, guys. I'm trying to find a Matthew- com. I'm trying to find a Matthew McConaughey movie that I think Alex might not like. There, there's that one with- um, Sarah Jessica Parker? No. Um, oh, Failure to Launch? Uh -huh. Love that movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep um, going. The, the one who played Catwoman, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway? Yeah. What movie was it? It was, it was a recent movie that was supposedly like one of the worst movies ever made. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. I, for, I forget what it was, but it was about this guy who like created a video game and put his dad in the video game. And uh, it's like this weird like thriller and it doesn't make any sense. The Wedding Planner. I fucking love that movie. I love that movie too. <laughs> 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 All right. Matt, uh, Matt Vader, where can they find you on the socials? Um, they can find me at Matt Vader 74 on the uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. What else? Uh, TikTok. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Facebook. You know, I'm, I'm out there. Yeah, just find me. <laughs> just find me. Just find me. Jude, where can they find you at? You can find me at I am Jude Juju on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Or you can look me up at thevoiceofjude.com. Right on. Matthew Kadish. You can find me at Matthew Kadish, K-A-D-I-S-H on Twitter. And Kadish Books will take you to my, kadishbooks.com will take you to my Amazon page. And uh, also check out our Facebook group by going to Facebook and just searching for the Salty Nerd Podcast. All right, guys, I'm your host, Alex the Salty Nerd. You can catch me on our Discord app, saltynerddiscord.com. Come hang out and say hi, and uh, we can share pictures of Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Thank you all very much for joining us today. And as always, stay salty, my friends.